hi you guys welcome back to a new video for today's video we're going to do a makeup look so if you're interested then keep on watching so to start off i'm going to use foundation and the one i'm using is by huda beauty i'm blending it out with a uh, foundation pad that came with a um, cushion foundation and i actually really enjoy using this for um, blending out my foundation rather than a beauty blender just because my beauty blender is really dirty and it's a hassle to clean and even dampen up before foundation so i've been using this for a while now and i really enjoy it for concealer, I'm using the new ColourPop No Filter Concealer. I really like it because it does a great job at coverage. Um, and however, it is like a teeny bit light on me, of course, as you can see in the video. So I've actually gotten like maybe two or three shades darker than before. So that means my concealer and foundations are darker on me now, or I'm sorry, lighter on me now since I did get darker from July 4th. And then now I'm just baking with my Airspun Loose Face Powder. I've been using this ever since I've gotten into makeup and this is the only thing I've been using to bake my face. I'm gonna bake areas where I actually need to bake, like areas that will actually crease throughout the day. So of course under my eyes. Now I'm gonna prep my eyebrows and what I like to do first is just comb out my eyebrows. And I've actually been really into the feathery look recently and my brows have actually been trained to kind of like go up on its own. So that's actually a good thing. So here I'm just going to use the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade um, and use their brow brush as well and make strokes on my eyebrows, not necessarily like filling them in, but making lights and strokes upwards like real eyebrow hair. To make sure my eyebrows are going upwards and make sure they stay in place, I like to use a clear brow gel and this is just to make sure, like I said, that it stays up all day. You could definitely substitute that with a tinted eyebrow mascara, which I usually do sometimes when I want my eyebrows to be like lighter or darker, depending on what I want. And now I'm just going to sweep and brush away all that baking powder under my eyes and on my face. So now I'm just prepping my eyelids for eyeshadow and because it is quite sticky from the foundation, I'm going to base it off with a neutral eyeshadow color. So now I'm going to go to the Dream Street eyeshadow palette by ColourPop and I'm going to put water barrier on a big fluff brush and actually blend it on my crease on my eyelids. I actually like to make sure this color is um, really blending on the eyelids because it's like the highest color on the eyelids and I want to make sure that it's perfect on there and that there's no harsh lines. So I want the eyes to have a warmer tone to it so I'm going to put Sweet Dreams on a smaller fluffy brush, put that under the crease and blend it on the outer corner of the eyes. Now I'm just taking that bigger fluffy brush and just try to blend everything out together making sure there's no harsh lines. I do want the outer corners of the eyes to be darker so I'm taking Mooney on a super small fluffy brush and put that on the outer corners of the eyes. And like usual I'm just going to blend everything out. So now I'm just going to take Water Barrier and Sweet Dreams and mix them together and put them under my eyes. Last but not least, I'm going to mix Spark and Mermaid Boy, which are two shimmer shades. I'll put that on the inner corners and middle parts of my eyelids. For liner today, I'm going to use my Wing Liner Stamp. And I'm just going to use my NYX Ink Liner in black and literally just paint all over the stamp. And all you have to do is just stamp it on your eyes and this will give you a good outline. And then what I like to do is just like to go in and just fix everything up and fill everything in. Now to finish the look, curl your lashes and apply on your mascara. For lashes, I'm going to use my Magnetic False Lashes and uh, I'm actually going to wait for my mascara to dry before I apply this on or else it's going to be like icky mess. So we'll wait for my lashes to dry and move on to contouring. So to contour, I'm using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Powder Kit and this is in medium to tan. I like to take a more defined brush like this one by Real Techniques and make sure that the contour is on the cheekbones of my cheeks 
and then I'll take a fluffier like fan brush and then blend everything out to make sure everything is smooth. To contour the rest of my face like my nose, I like to take an ashier, cooler brown and for that I'm going to go into my Lorac Pro palette and take Cool Taupe and just apply that and make sure it is contoured onto my face smoothly. And here come the lashes. So this is before the lashes and this is after. For blush, I'm gonna go into an e.l.f. cheek and blush palette and apply on this nice shimmery pink onto the cheeks. So for highlighter, I'm gonna take this one. This is by ColourPop and Over the Moon and I'm actually applying this with my fingers because it's actually better when you apply it with your fingers rather than a brush because the brush doesn't pick up the product quite well. For lips today, it is by Anastasia and it is in color Pure Hollywood. And here you guys are. This is the finished makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will list everything that I used in the description box below. So if you're interested, you can check that out. And if you're not subscribed to my channel already, then make sure you guys are subscribed to see more of my videos. Thank you guys so much for watching again. I hope to see you guys in the next one.